Now I'm gonna treat you like a little kid because apparently you don't know how to act like an adult. I was, sir. You Would were you... being rude no. too, sir. Really, sir? Stand up. Stop. You're under I don't arrest. Want... Really, sir? Yeah, now you're under arrest. When teenagers feel empowered to take to the streets, their sense of entitlement can sometimes lead to danger confrontations. From outbursts of anger leading to rude behavior towards adults on the streets to the use of stimulants and assaulting older family members. Hey, don't, don't, don't fight that lady! Oh my God! Oh my God! I know, I'm here. just trying to leave. We're not, you're not going to leave right now. Not yet, we're, we're doing it. No, I'm trying right? to like, we're, 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 we're going to talk to you. We all make mistakes, but shirking responsibility is certainly not a good way to handle them. And age one excuse you from the consequences. Here are some cases when entitled teenagers get arrested. First, let's start with the case of this young woman who sparked outrage after assaulting an elderly person on the street. Hey, don't, don't, don't fight that lady! Oh my God! Oh my God! On February 3rd, 2024, police responded to an assault incident at a traffic intersection in the city of Ocala. The incident involved a teenage girl and a 60-year-old woman. The incident took place on the street with several witnesses. A bystander filming with their phone reported that the defendant stepped out of the car and immediately started punching the victim repeatedly. When the police arrived, the individuals involved in the altercation separated, and the assailant fled the scene. The police then contacted the victim to gather information about the incident. Just, just stay in the car for a minute. Did you need a EMS? No, Check you I out. used to be one. Do you need a EMS right now? I'm going to go. I uh, make contact with the uh, victim. She's uh, south of 127, just south of uh, 42nd Street. Uh, she was uh, having concussions from here. I'm going to see if yeah, I can get If you can get me an uh, EMS call, check her out. She's uh, asking for it. You know how it is with the drug. Um, Okay, so let me get you, let me get you EMS, and then like you know you can go for, to the hospital. I mean, I've got lots of knots on my head. Next is the victim's account of how the incident unfolded. Okay, all right. Can, so what what happened? Well, we were on our way coming home from Best Buy, and I lay back. Six six three three zero five one zero. Right. The one over there. Right. Okay. I was on. You know, there's two south. So as soon as I came through the light. The incident began when the woman was driving and attempted to change lanes to avoid traffic. However, as she changed lanes, a young woman cut her off and her behavior posed a danger. The young woman nearly collided with their car. After a series of events, the young girl got out of her car, confronted the older woman, and assaulted her. She doesn't want me to get over. Right. I'm already, at this point, I'm already half and half. Right. So I literally know where. Yeah. At my tail end right here. But I'm already, already oh, no, you know, okay. halfway over. Yeah. I don't know if I can get back over or not because I'm, so I can't just jump back in my lane. Right. Because it was too short of a time speed. Yeah. So she almost hit this light. She passes, gets in front of me, gets in the turn lane. I got in the turn lane because I wanted to get her. She cut you off, right? She cut you off. She was behind you and then she got in front of you, almost hit you. After I got over. So I get over there to get her tag. I want to get her tag. Did you get out of the car? Did you step out of the car? She came to me, not expecting to get beat up. Right. Apparently, at my age. Despite the aggression of the young girl, the victim exercised restraint and did not escalate the situation. Instead, she diffused the tension by refraining from using violence in front of her son. I could have hit her back. I sat there and took quite a few swings, but I didn't hit her back. I told him to call his father so he could get home. Oh, okay. Was he with you? Yes, that's my son. Okay. He's autistic, especially with him yeah. in the car. Yeah. Did he get out and try to... Uh, he got out, but I didn't know he got out to the man in the white truck because he was hollering at the other girl, telling the other girl to stop. Because mm -hmm. everybody knew that she Hello? beat up on me. I didn't start swinging, none of that. Okay. I wasn't even calling her name, took a few punches. Yeah. Then I started mouthing, but 
Okay. Not until then. Okay. How old do you think she was? I think she's in her very young 20s. Very if 20s. that. Okay. Was she like black or white? Or Hispanic? She's white, but okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe mixed Hispanic. Hispanic yeah. okay. But she has dyed hair. It's yeah. like bleach blonde. It's not real. Okay. So okay. it's kind of hard to tell. So she went that way? She went that way. And That's you can't... The lady that called 911 was in front of me, uh -huh. the one that did the video. Yeah. This horrifying incident was captured on phones by witnesses. They didn't start videoing it until... Until, okay. 20. Hey, don't, don't, don't fight that lady! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Ma'am, get in your car. I got it! Oh my God! Don't fight that lady! No, it's okay. Go ahead, girl. Get on tape. Not that young, in my opinion. At 60 to me, that's... Honestly, I, I figured she couldn't have been much over 18. Do you mind if I forward it to me? No, I don't mind. But you know, adrenaline, I wasn't feeling it. I, I knew it was hard. I wasn't feeling it until I started coming down a little bit. And then the more I sat here, the more I started getting a little lightheaded. And I I started hurting really bad then. I said, yeah, I used to be a medic. If I feel bad or whatever happens, I'll just go get looked at. But yeah. Then it just, I just have started to feel really bad, so. This is truly a big shock for her. The elderly woman was exceptionally kind. She shouldn't have had to face such a terrible situation. EMS arrived to check on the victim afterward, and the police will continue investigating this from the witness's perspective. Hello. Hi, Miss Colin. How are you doing, ma'am? Fine. This How are you doing? Very good. This is. Uh huh. I believe you are the witness called over here by 42nd and 27th. Yes, Miss Lake. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lake. Uh, -huh. uh I, she saw me the video. It's kind of. It does not. It looks horrible. Mm -hmm. All we know we was at the light, and my daughter looked and said, oh, they're fussing. They're arguing like that. And after we started sitting, she hit them. The young girl hit the lady, and she said, oh, my God, they hit her. So we both jumped out the car, and she was fussing with her cousin and stuff, hitting her, and that's when my daughter recorded it. Okay. And um, that's when I called 911. Okay. All right. What started or nothing like that, all we know, and the lady went back to her car. Yeah. You witnessed her throwing the first punch, right? To yes, the my daughter witnessed her. The older lady didn't hit back at all that we saw. Yeah. So she ain't had no business and they needed press charges on her. I hope she press charges on her. Yeah, she is pressing charges. All right, well, I appreciate you so much and I hope you have a better day, okay? Okay, then. Yes, thank you. Bye. After gathering enough information about the incident and relying on the victim's description, the police identified the suspect at their residence. Yeah, here. Uh, I'm just gonna read your rights. All right. Uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you said, you have the right to talk to a lawyer and have them present. Was if you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before and can decide at any point to execute execute these rights and not answer any question. Do you understand this? Each of these rights. Okay. Having that in mind, do you want to talk to me? When the police arrived, they read her the Miranda rights before they began to inquire about the incident from the young suspect's perspective. So, I'm over here at the light. Okay. And she has her blinker on, but she's already like right here. She's about to hit me. Right. So I start honking, and she keeps cutting over. So I swear to the other one. And then she starts like driving crazy and like getting all up on me and stuff. So when I get at the light, I stop in my car and park and I get out. And then she walks to me and she's in my face. So I push her back, mm -hmm. and then she gets back in my face. So I hit her. Yeah, that was not right, right? So that being said, pretty much you're gonna have. Do you want to press charges? Me? Because yeah. she actually was taken to the hospital with concussion. Because you hear her so bad. Little tiny grandma. Yeah. Go so turn around for me. All right. Y'all gonna bond her out? How old are you? About twenty. About twenty. Okay. Six nine two one. So, thought it was gonna be some minor. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be some minor because she's got all these bumps uh, on her head and stuff like that. So they had to, the ambulance had to get there to take her to the hospital. What, what about her? Did she have a passenger with her? She had an autistic uh, kid with her, and he can't drive. Yes. 
officer. Uh, it's a misdemeanor charge, so thank God it wasn't a felony, because if she was 65, it could have been a felon. Felon, so. Uh, she she learns, so In the end, the young girl was arrested. She was charged with battery against an elderly woman. She was placed on a 12-month probation required to complete 40 hours of community service, attend a 10-week anger management course, and had no contact with the victim due to her actions. The elderly woman was injured and was taken to the hospital with a head injury. The behavior of the young woman in this incident is unacceptable. Using violence to resolve conflicts is not only irresponsible but also poses danger and suffering to others. In a democratic and civilized society, we must learn to resolve conflicts peacefully and respectfully, rather than resorting to force and violence. Particularly when the target of the attack is an innocent elderly person, it highlights the lack of patience and understanding on the part of this young woman. Hope that the victim will recover quickly and fully from both the physical and emotional wounds she endured in this attack. Additionally, the perpetrator's criminal actions should be met with severe consequences, and the victim should receive support and justice from the legal system. The next case involves a girl named Sophia, who believed she could lay hands on her mother without facing consequences. No, no more, I'm sorry, stand up. Really, sir? Stand up. Stop. You're under arrest. Know. Really, sir? Yeah, now you're under arrest. On January 25th, 2023, the police responded to a report related to a domestic disturbance. The police officers arrived at the residence to handle the incident. However, they quickly had to deal with a woman behaving rudely. Awesome, we see you too. Come to the door for us. We mentioned we saw the window move. Okay, He's letting me cool, know. Cool, okay. Cool. So what's cool. going on? Just go. I don't care. I don't know. I'm Come out here right quick. Are you are you hurt? I don't have a nope. There's okay. Nothing. Hold on, hold on. Come on. Come on. Do you have Let, a, let's go. Do you have a warrant? Hey, we're here to investigate it. So until, until we determine where's it right warrant? now. There's somebody supposedly injured and you're getting in our way. You need well, to step out. I haven't done nothing. Okay. okay then let us figure that out and then we'll okay. be out of your school. Yeah. Well, okay. Oh, and your husband yeah. injured nothing? No. Your husband did okay. nothing? Okay. Hey, you can talk with me. No, Are you I'm hurt somewhere? I'm just here waiting for my kids, bro. Okay. Who else I'm is in here? I'm not drunk. I know, but I'm not going to be a bitch and lie. Do you well, you need to tone it down. I'm not going to lie. 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 i am not going to lie 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 i am forcing the officers to make the decision to restrain her before the situation escalated further. So, what's going on? Talk she just heard her boyfriend have been at it. Nobody's saying that you're in trouble. I'm not. You gotta I'm call not that, in hold, trouble. Hold on. I know hear, I'm not hear in me, trouble. Hear me out because you're testing my patience and you're about to. You're, you're hurt and we, we are not being rude to you. I'm not hurt. I'm Stand okay. up and turn around. Really? Stand up and, yeah. Really? really? I'm not really. doing Stand nothing. Up. Put your hands behind your back. Long oh. route. I'll not be rude oh, with man. you. Oh, really, sir? Sure really, sir? Really, sir? Yeah, really. Talk, say we saw okay, moving out okay. the window. Not over that. I was, cause I'm on my face. So phone. you're hurt. Oh. We don't know what's going on until oh, we figure out what's going on. You're really, detained, sir? okay? I'm a girl. Really, I'm really. I'm not gonna hurt you. I have no weapons. You can I didn't say me. you were gonna hurt me. It's just I don't like the way you're acting. Trying to investigate what's going on. I'm trying okay. to explain, and all you're doing oh. is talk, 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 talk. No, Okay, do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't, sir. I'm just literally sitting here. Nothing at all? Nothing no, gonna stick no, us or poke us? no, never. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. So, they want to go take flowers to his mom at the cemetery. My, my mom, my grandma, her, his grandma died too. So, pretty much they just went to take flowers to everybody. And she took, I guess she was driving, she wasn't supposed to. And their uncle had just died, so they're trying to sell tools and, and whatever, whatnot, just to make the money to bury them. And he said, so we don't have that much money for gas, we gotta save our gas. And I guess she went to buy the flowers and, and they got into, yeah, her, 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 so, the father's children, the, the father's. The father of her babies. <laughs> okay, grandma. so her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Yeah, her boyfriend. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it simple. Yeah, Let's not complicate our lives. So, he got upset because he told her we need to save for gas, or she told him that? No, no, he told her. Okay. While the mother was being questioned outside, the woman identified as Sophia continued to behave rudely towards the police officers. This further exacerbated her situation. Really, sir? Really? Is that your favorite word, really? That's all you know yes, to say? Really? Yes. Now I'm going to treat you like a little kid because apparently you don't know how to act like an adult. I was, sir. You Would were you... being rude no. too, sir. We had a call that there's a domestic dispute that somebody got thrown through some glass I and is hurt. No, Hold on. I, no, so, we heard really? that somebody was right. hurt. All right. 
and we see you bleeding and you're just talk 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 not helping with their investigation if you started this you want to talk like this this is how we're talking Let's go. Okay, Let's so go. why don't you tell me what happened? Enlighten me. Where's my right? Who else is in this house right now? No one. Okay, I'm gonna have you sit on the porch while why? I check the rest of the house because I don't know what happened. Stand up. I didn't do nothing. You, you are gonna be under arrest here no, in about two seconds. No. Okay, okay. I'm Stand up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no more, I'm sorry. Uh, you're under arrest. Really sorry. Yeah, now you're under arrest for obstructing an officer because you're. I don't want to be under yeah. arrest. You, you want to do this? Stop. So now you're under arrest. Really? All yeah, right. for obstructing right. an officer. Under arrest. You're interfering my, with my I'm investigation. I'm not doing nothing. No, sir, stop. Stand I'm up. just waiting for Quit my kids. Quit acting like a little kid and stand I'm up. I'm not, sir. Stand up. So am I going to get worse? Okay, okay. You're going to make it 50 okay, times worse. Okay, okay, okay. Word of the day, yes. really. Yes. Sophia was arrested and escorted to the patrol car, while the police held her to allow her to calm down. The remaining officer continued the investigation with the mother. Keep watching the video to find out what led to this conflict. What happened with that? She started, I tell her, Sophie, calm down, calm down. Where are the kids? And she went down, so she was fighting with her boyfriend. And then uh, his dad telling him, just be quiet, don't say nothing, let's go, let's be quiet. The boyfriend's dad? Yeah. And then uh, he said, let's get out of here to defuse the situation. And she still didn't let him. He pulled out and she still brought, she still, oh, Sophie, please, please be quiet. And uh, she started coming up here. You're picking his side. Where's the kids? They're in daycare. I go, if they're in daycare, it's already an hour late. They can call CPS. I'm not going to pick them up. I think he is, whatever. I said, I don't care. Just go pick up your kids. So I guess he decided that he wasn't going to pick up the kids. <sighs> She's all kinds of things. And she's your granddaughter. This one yes. is my daughter. And I, and, I, and I got upset. I said, stop cursing at me, Sophie. Stop it. I think I went like this, like, like get her away from me. And she slammed me hard. Okay. And I'm bleeding here. That's your blood? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Do you need medical attention, man? No, no. The incident started with an argument between the daughter and her boyfriend. The daughter became increasingly out of control during the argument. However, when the mother tried to intervene and calm her down, the daughter became even more aggressive, and she even physically assaulted her mother. There's truly nothing sadder than the mother's situation at this moment. No one ever wants to see their own child they've raised do such a dreadful thing. However, the situation doesn't stop there. Have a seat. Go ahead. What's your name real quick? My name's Rebecca. Rebecca? Yes, sir. Okay, Rebecca, we got a call saying that somebody got thrown through a window, somebody got choked. It was uh, male versus female. Well, that's when she pushed me down and slammed me, and she got in his face down. Or she was already down. She was acting stupid. She was acting down. Okay. Was, Shut your mouth. And then I goes, I think I went shut up calling me a <laughs> I was going to say, don't disrespect your mom. Like, Push her or I, I go, man, this is the day that she gets knocked out. And where's your husband? He's in there. He's, he's in there? like confrontation, but he's in there. Yeah, in, the we'll talk to him. in the bedroom. Okay. What's his name? James. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Breaking my mom's touch. This room here? Yeah. James, I need to talk to you. Can I talk to you real quick? It's a police department, but Yeah, I know who you are. Okay. Then the police arrived to meet with the girl's father to gather more information about the incident. If you want, I'll be more than happy to charge you with concealing identity too. You're, you're being rude to me, sir. I didn't no, I'm do just keeping nothing. it real. I don't have a shit attitude. I've just been going through it all day. And Literally, you, all day. Sophia, dude. what? Right? Yes, sir. What's going on? What happened today? Talk to me. It happened every, every time. Bottom laying all over the damn place here. Yeah. I there, right there, threw something in the garbage can. Okay. Her and the boyfriend, they, they, well, they've been drinking ever since. Then what happened? She pushed it down. Then she went and broke the window on the chimney set. Uh, she what? This, this. Yeah, she broke the thing for the china, right? Yeah. Okay. Because the police had previously observed the injury on the girl's arm, medical personnel were called to the scene, but the woman refused all medical assistance. Listen up, Sophia. These guys are with AMR and the fire department as well. I'm not concealing my you, you, identity. Hold on. Well, I'm not getting in trouble for concealing my identity because I was trying to give it to you and you okay. shut the door on me. 
That's it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a good one. However, as they were about to leave, she knocked on the door again and requested medical intervention. I needed medical help. No, you did not. It's too late. I back. told him, yup. No, you did not. They wouldn't have driven off if you'd said that. But, but I just okay, said hey, yes. Sophia, what's your date of birth? And they're like, do you need medical attention? I said, yeah. No, you did not. Yes, I you, did. You well, listen all to of us babe. were just ignoring you. I'm not your babe. Don't be facing your knees towards me. Keep sorry, them that way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So if you know your rights, are you willing to answer my questions now? Yes, sir. Okay. This action not only wasted the time of the police and medical personnel, but also could potentially violate legal regulations regarding obstructing the duties of law enforcement agencies. However, she will still receive medical care upon request, but the location will change to inside the prison. Tell me what happened here, because that's all we were here to see. It's because I was fighting and I got like glass table and that's how I got my cut. So why couldn't you have just said that when I first walked up? Because my mom always tries to blame me for everything. Okay. I have two kids coming in soon, like I don't want trouble and that's why I'm so scared. I'm nervous i'm mad so why no. didn't you just say that when i walked up that's because all you I'm had to scared. do i'm no. scared and so i'm gonna i'm gonna drive up there to the driveway <laughs> so i can see what's going on with my partner i asked you if you needed medical attention you said no yes, but, I no, hold, hold on. fire department and ems one of them had heard you say yes i need I medical yes, attention sir, I, did. I didn't hear you say yep so we're gonna go to the jail and they have medical staff there so if you need help there they can afterward sophia admitted to having a fit of rage and disclosed the reason for her injured hand she also confessed to having consumed alcohol beforehand. Say yes, sir. Because I said yep, uh, and I just told him I needed help. If you had said, said, if you had, if you had said yep, yep, none of them heard that, and no, I didn't I hear know, that, I so know, you I might know, think you. I know. You've... I know. Okay. I know. Um, yes, so tell sir, me this: I Have you had anything to drink or any drugs today? Yes, you're not I act... drink. Yes, sir, I do. What do you drink? What's your drink of choice? I'll say Corvo. Oh, that'll do it. Don't say Corvo. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. How much have you had? Like three bottles. Really. No, yeah, the, so little one, the little oh, ones. Oh, little shooters? Yeah, you'd have three full-size bottles. No, the little shooters I have been drinking. Yes, sir, I have. There's some going to get her out of here. I just had to get uh, these quick pictures. And you don't have any injuries, ma'am? I don't know where the blood's from, but I think I don't know where it's from. But... It's probably hers from where she pushed her. Or... I do. Right. I'll be right there. <laughs> Let me take mommy. I want to hit mommy. For what? You can't hit mommy. No, you don't hit people, okay? Yeah. You be the nice one, okay? You don't be like mommy. You be the nice one, okay? Yeah, boy, those. Oh, oh, yeah. Afterward, Sophia's elderly mother wants to press charges against her daughter for assault. Sophia has been transferred to prison. It's time for Sophia to face the consequences of her wrongdoing. Why are you why are you kicking around? All right, would you stop kicking my door, please? Thank you. So, what's the story with you allegedly pushing? Then, an officer informed the elderly mother about the legal process for evicting her daughter from the house. This includes complying with legal regulations related to eviction procedures or resolving civil disputes, ensuring the rights and protection of both parties. Any questions, Miss? Before I leave? Okay, and like I told your husband, if you guys really want her out of here, I know sometimes, you know, don't do it because of your grandkids, which is understandable. Obviously, you guys are more stable than her, but if this keeps going and you want a victory, go down to magistrate, pay, pay the service fee to get her served by the sheriff's office. That way, if they, 30 days and that's it. No more. Okay? Yes. Okay? Um, yeah, you know, this has been going on like five years. Finally, the woman was charged with resisting, obstructing, and battery against a household member. This incident underscores an important lesson about the importance of communication, understanding, and emotional regulation in family relationships. Additionally, support and guidance from family members are essential in educating a child to become a more mature individual. They need to learn how to handle conflicts calmly and peacefully, while also assessing and understanding the consequences of their role emotions, respect others, and resolve conflicts peacefully. Additionally, it underscores the importance of educating about responsibility and proper behavior within the community. Furthermore, this also serves as evidence of the necessity to promote a safe and respectful social environment, as well as to raise awareness about the consequences of violent and aggressive behavior. Through such events, we can see that respect and kindness are not only individual responsibilities, but also the foundation of a peaceful and prosperous community. If you enjoyed the video, please like and share it with your friends. 
Don't forget to express your thoughts on this issue in the comments below the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day everyone.